Hi everyone, welcome to Katima Gaming and on this episode we are celebrating the 20th anniversary of the PlayStation 2. This means this baby has been around for 20 years now. And you know what else that means? <laughs> it means I'm really, really old. Today guys, I just want to talk about the PlayStation 2, why it's a big deal turning 20 years old, and what made it an amazing system. And later in this video, I also will be talking about what I believe was the real reason the PS2 is the best-selling console of all time. Now, if you were a child of the 80s and 90s, you would have definitely have appreciated the PlayStation 2 when it first came out in March of the year 2000 in Japan, and later that year for the rest of the world. It was revolutionary, guys, for this gaming console, and it kicked off the sixth generation console war, which I would like to argue today is the modern console war of what we know of. I believe the PlayStation 2 era kicked off the modern console war simply because in this era, Microsoft made their entry into the console gaming world with their original Xbox. Sega's Dreamcast launched in 1999, Sony introduced the PlayStation 2 early in the year 2000, and the Nintendo GameCube, which I have right here, as well as Microsoft Xbox jumped into the console war in the year 2001. To this day, only two companies are left standing from that sixth generation console war way back from 1999 to 2001, Sony and Microsoft. Sega no longer makes gaming consoles, and Nintendo are on a level of their own with their hybrid Nintendo Switch. So, as you can see, the PlayStation 2 was truly a big deal. How big of a deal, you ask? Well, just 155 million units sold. Just 155 million units sold, starting at $300. Just in case you don't understand the magnitude of that, it has outsold units from Xbox, Xbox 360, and Xbox One combined. Let that sink in for a bit combined okay the original xbox of that generation only sold about 24 million units that's about 16 percent yeah just 16 percent of what the playstation 2 units sold during that time the 360 sold at about 84 million and the xbox one right now till this day has sold 46 million units and counting that's just about 154 still 1 million unit away from a console that was sold 20 years ago. That's why it's such a big deal. Also, this record doesn't look like it'll ever be broken because gaming has evolved beyond consoles today. PC gaming is as popular as ever with their master race. Of course, I'm included in that. <laughs> Smartphones have become a platform even for competitive gaming today. And the future seems to be pointing towards cloud gaming and definitely handheld gaming, as you can see. So the PlayStation 2 is definitely the king of gaming consoles, without question. Numbers don't lie, guys. What do you want me to say? Not only was this baby here a gaming console, no, similar to the PS1 and the PlayStation, it also was a DVD and VCD music and movie player. So for $300 during that time, you had a gaming console and a DVD home entertainment system right out of a box just like the PlayStation 1 with its VCD, and just like the PlayStation 3 and PlayStation 4 with their Blu-ray. But no, it ain't over. Uh-uh, that's not just it. Later in 2004, just four years after Sony launched the PlayStation 2, they released the PlayStation 2 Slimline, also known as the PS2 Slim. This was amazing. Look at that. Look at that, guys. Look at that. This is just like what they did with the PlayStation. Check it out, guys. The PlayStation did the same thing, okay? They had the original PlayStation, and they had the modified and newer version, the PS1. All of those baby fats are now gone. If you want to know how they slimmed down the PlayStation 1 and how they slimmed down the PlayStation 2 like this, I have a separate episode on that with the links below. Go check it out after this, guys. Some of the greatest game franchise we know of today even hit it off on the PlayStation 2. 
games like Grand Theft Auto San Andreas, Final Fantasy X and XII, Metal Gear Solid 2, Guns of the Patriots, oh, Goosebumps, Goosebumps, Snake Eater, Kingdom Hearts, God of War, Guitar Hero, Need for Speed Underground. <laughs> Devil May Cry, Shadow of the Colossus, Persona 3, Okami, and Winning Eleven. If you're a football fan and you don't know what Winning Eleven is, for shame. For shame. Especially if you're a Pez fan, if you don't know what Winning Eleven is, for shame. This was an amazing revolution, guys. And as soon as the PlayStation 2 Slim dropped at $200, almost every household here in Asia had a PlayStation 2. During my time, I never even saw an Xbox. Seriously, guys. As a matter of fact, till this day, I don't think I've ever touched an Xbox here in Asia. Even worse, when my brother got an Xbox 360 later on, I didn't talk to him for a month, guys. I mean, I love my brother to death, but that, that was a betrayal. But I forgave him later on because he was literally pirating. I later found out that he was pirating and burning games for his Xbox 360 in his own home. Right, while I was spending $60 per game on my PlayStation 3, so well played, bro. Well played. And on that note, I would like to argue that this is truly the reason why the PlayStation 2 and even the PlayStation 1 sold so well. People would argue, oh, the PlayStation 2 had so many great games, like it had like about 4,000 games in its library and sold over 1.5 billion game copies around worldwide. Oh, it's because it, it had great graphics and it was also doubling as a home theater. Oh, because the controller and its analog was so revolutionary and there was so much innovation in the gaming industry. No, no, I don't think that was one that was the main reason I truly believe one of the main reasons why PlayStation 2 sold so well was because of piracy oh if you live in Asia you know what I'm talking about don't don't deny it guys if you live in Asia you know what I'm talking about don't deny it you know what I mean kids at home oh my gosh back in the day folders upon folders of pirated PlayStation 1 and PlayStation 2 games were all over the house. For $3, for as low as $3 per CD, instead of $60 per game, you were looking at a trend where modded PlayStation 2 consoles were actually the norm, guys. Nobody touched an unmodded PlayStation 2. You would be ridiculed and made fun of if you bought an original on an unmodded PlayStation 2 console. Think about it. Amazing games like San Andreas, Guns of the Patriots, Kingdom Hearts, Final Fantasy X, all for just three bucks per DVD. Heck, even parents were getting in on it. They knew the lingo. They were getting into the norm. They would go to a vendor and they would ask, um, excuse me, sir, I mean, like, is this PlayStation 2 uh, modded? You know, can it play? pirated games on your shelves, you know? I mean, they knew what they were talking about. And soon after that, like I said, every house had a PlayStation 2. Third-party memory cards. Now, remember, the memory cards on this thing only had 8 megabytes, which increased the demand for even more memory. Third-party memory cards were all the rage, along with cheaper versions of accessories such as dance pads and even Chinese knockoffs of console guns. And even wireless controllers, they were making wireless controllers for these. So this was truly the golden age of modern console gaming. Today though, these things are no longer easy to do. Look, the PlayStation 3 and the PlayStation 4 have done very well in fighting piracy. And with games on PC getting cheaper, as well as free games on every platform becoming more fun to play, we might see an end to the enterprise and organized piracy sooner than later. We can never duplicate what the PlayStation 2 era has gone through. And I personally never owned as many games as I had in one console, unlike the PlayStation 2. So today, I would like to celebrate with you all one of the greatest consoles ever invented for me personally. During the PlayStation 2 era, I was very much into sports. I was a teenager, so I was really into sports and RPGs, winning 11, 
evolved internationally into pro-evolution soccer or PES as we know of today from the PlayStation 2. Yeah, you should know that if you're a fan of this franchise. FIFA couldn't even come close to winning 11 during that time, guys, and NBA 2K also became a hit starting with the PlayStation 2. I know they're not doing as well today, but they all started there, and NBA Live could not compete with NBA 2K after the PlayStation 2 came out. Shout out to my cousin Jeremy for bringing me into the NBA 2K franchise. It was really a lot of fun. Guns of the Patriots, man. Guns of the Patriots. Goosebumps. Goosebumps. I love Guns of the Patriots. I love Snake Eater. They were all amazing. And Final Fantasy X, that ending absolutely destroyed me. I, I cried. There was tears of joy, laughter, and sadness all over. I, I'm not going to spoil for you, but Final Fantasy X... If you can get the remastered version, go play it, man. It's just so amazing. But lastly, one of the most amazing games I have to say blew my mind during that time was SOCOM 2 US Navy SEALs. That game really changed how I play video games, for the console at least, because it was a big deal. Because it was the first console that ever truly took advantage of the analog stick. It was the first time that they took advantage of the L3 and R3 to bring up even more options when you're strategizing into the combat. So suddenly the PlayStation 2 controller had 16 buttons in them now. And during that time, that was, that was mind blowing guys. So overall, the PlayStation 2 era was truly one of the best eras to be a console gamer guys. Thank you so much Sony and thank you so much PlayStation for all the great times we had. That's it for me guys. And that's the reason why I really think the PlayStation 2 was really a big deal. Thank you so much, guys, for watching this episode. Please comment down below what you guys thought of today's episode. I put a lot of effort into writing this episode, so I would really appreciate it if you could just like, share, and hey, why not subscribe? Also, comment down below what you guys think were your favorite PlayStation 2 game of all time, old timer. <laughs> And yeah, that's it for me. Thank you so much for watching Katima Gaming, and I'll see you in our past, present, and future videos. Sorry,